everybody welcome back it's Anna okay so I'm gonna show you just a quick setup of what I'm taking with me for a weekend away um, it's just like a little family thing and unfortunately I've had to miss the entire week because I, um, I started a job and I didn't want to be away for that um, and so I will be joining them um, after work. I'm going to drive up there and I wanted to show you what I'm bringing. Um, because I'm only going to be there for like two and a half days, really. I don't even need to bring all this stuff, honestly. But I have plans to see there's um, a botanical garden and some sort of like wildlife uh, like park. Um, that I kind of want to get to. I'm hoping we can because um, and that's the reason why I'm bringing this, um, which I'll get to in a moment. So, um, in my traveler's notebook, oh gosh, it's getting twisted all sorts of ways. Can I get this one-handed? It's hard to do one-handed. Okay, so in my traveler's notebook, because I've got one book July, I've got the 013 insert and then the Michaels craft paper insert that I'm using as my planner and so that's just kind of what I've got going on so it does make it a little bit heavy the traveler's notebook but I've also got a pair of scissors in here which I always keep in my um, zip pouch anyway just because I always need scissors for something got some ephemera pieces in the craft um, folder, this is just stuff that I normally carry with the Traveler's Notebook anyway, but I've got like a vintage postcard that's already pre-stamped for post. Um, some photos that I've gotten from Instagram and stuff that I use as like a mood board and inspiration, and then a ton of stickers. So um, there's like some Heidi Swap stickers, uh, the washi stickers. And then a lot of Samiko Barashi and Japanese stickers are just back here. And those are nice and thin, so I've got a lot in there, but it doesn't take up that much room. And then in the back, obviously, I've got my writing board. I've got some Traveler's Notebook, uh, clear sticky pouches, a postcard, and some of those sticky tabs that I love so much. And this is... Um, something, it's like a little metal piece that I hold my traveler's notebook um, flat so I can journal on it. So I've got supplies in there and I think I've got, yeah, and I slipped a, a washi card back here. I wanted to tape things in. And honestly, I don't even think I'm going to have that much time to journal, so I might even pare it down even more. But this is just what I plan to bring. I've got the leather pouch that I hand sewed. Um, that I showed on Instagram. Uh, thank you for your kind comments. Um, this was just a fun thing that I made and I, it slips right underneath the band of my traveler's notebook, which I really like. In it, I've got my reusable utensils and my um, glass straw. I found this in my like silverware drawer after like moving and realized it was like the perfect size because it fits into my Superior Labor Leather Pen Case, which is awesome because I wanted a, sh a straw for the longest time, but I couldn't find one that was short enough. And I must have gotten this in some sort of subscription box years ago. So I've got that. I've got my watercolor brush. It's already filled with water. And then my Twisby Eco in the broad nib, which I actually have to refill with the Jane Austen ink before I leave because that's what I've been using to write in my traveler's notebook. Now this is my little watercolor kit. Can you believe it? This is my card carrying case. It's from Cole Haan. I've had it for years. It's kind of like wearing off. Um, and I'm not using it as a card holder currently, so I sometimes use my card holders for like supply stuff. So in here I've got like my watercolor supplies. So I've got my mini mini very well worn um well used well worn down well used um black wing pencil with a cap on it to protect the tip it's already sharpened and then in this little front pocket I've got a little cut down piece of um like 
towel from Ikea and then I've got a little color chart as well as cut down pieces of watercolor paper in case I wanted to just do a quick little thing and um, just stick that into my journal. So that goes into the front pocket and then this is my very, very tiny watercolor set that I made out of an old eye palette that I wasn't using anymore. Um, I featured this probably in a blog somewhere, blog post, and then um, on Instagram a few times. Um, if you guys are looking for like super thin ways to get your watercolor set on the go, um, you don't have to buy the Smashbox one, obviously. I just had it and I wasn't using the palette. But just, you know, go to Target or something and find those, you know, super small palettes and fill those pans. Um, so I just like popped out the eyeshadow itself, kept the pans in, and then filled it with the colors. Then I can use the mirror as a mixing palette. And that coordinates with that. So that's pretty much it. That all fits into this card case with no problem. Just snaps right in. I love how small I've made this little kit because honestly, I think I'm just going to start carrying this itself everywhere with me and that's what I'm bringing with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!